Hello everyone, Simon here from Higher Plane Games. I hope you're well and having a great day. And I just wanted to invite you to a probably chaotic and slightly all over the place uh, channel update video. A little bit about me, a little bit about some changes that will be coming for the next couple of months, some pre-announcements of some exciting things that I'm working on. Um, just a bit of a natter, really. So, yeah. Firstly, how are you? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I have had a crazy 2021, as I'm sure you guys all have had in one degree or another, either for it being slightly weird and unusual, um, for it perhaps promising things that didn't deliver, or giving things that you weren't expecting. Um, for me, the thing that I wasn't expecting was to spend the first six weeks of the year in bed with what I can only describe as, as I think it's COVID. <laughs> um, so, and the more I think about it, the more confused I get, because it was six weeks of me barely being able to breathe, in bed, being awful. And, um, but I had positive and negative tests, which was super confusing. So after that, I was back up and at them, back into work. But ever since then, I've kind of rode this uh, kind of weird wave of health, where I'm perfectly fine for some days at a time, and then all of a sudden I'll just tank. Uh, and be absolutely exhausted and to the point where my body feels like it's aching from head to toe um, sometimes my limbs feel like they're on fire which sounds like an odd thing to say I know um, I get like brain fog and slurry almost like I'm about to have like a pre-stroke only a couple of times that's happened but I'm like blah, 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 blah. and I have to take myself away and kind of down tools and like put myself on sleep mode for a little while to get back up again, which is super taxing when I'm dealing with a job where I'm juggling lots and lots of different things um, that have impacts on people's lives and so on and so forth. So um, I feel the pressure of it, essentially, which is fine normally, but not when uh, you're struggling with a health condition. Whatever that health condition is, I don't know if it's long COVID. I don't know if this is chronic fatigue syndrome. It could just be, Simon, you're a lazy bitch. I genuinely don't know. And I think that's some of the problem that I need to kind of go off and investigate for a little bit. So as a result of that, um, firstly, I need to protect my day job. Um, the day job brings the bills, uh, or pays the bills, or brings bills as well, but it pays the bills. Um, YouTube does not. Patreon is lovely, but it does not. So reality is, is that that job has to take priority first. So instead of being able to put out a video every single day, what you might find for the next couple of months is me putting out a video maybe more every other day. Um, I'm still aiming to do videos daily uh, and I do have a backlog of gameplay footage that I recorded um, for games that aren't necessarily current. So what I'll probably be doing is when I'm still reviewing current games, but I can't keep up with that everyday um, release schedule. I've got some backup stuff that I might plop in again. So please bear with me whilst you see some reviews that come out for games that perhaps aren't exactly current on release week. Um, not that I get tons of those anyway, because I'm a small channel. So yeah, I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. So I hope that's okay. Um, and we'll take it from there and hopefully I'll be back up to something daily every time anytime soon because um I, i've probably said this before but between this channel and its sister website higherplanegames.com i also run higherplanemusic.com that is now got a um small like radio playlist show that i put out every fortnight uh i run i love disastermovies.com i make music under several different um projects i do voiceovers for several other youtube channels uh, circuits of the past is probably the most popular one that i do at the moment um i also commentate occasionally for sim racing events uh, and esports but um that's one of the things that i've had to decline recently this year because of ill health so yeah there's a lot kind of going on and all of that comes together and that basically makes up my entire personal life I mean, I have a partner, I have family, I do have some friends, but everything that I'm invested in and in, involved in uh, from a kind of hobbies interest perspective, they're all wrapped up in these sites. So if I can't invest all of my time into that for the things that make me tick personally, um, I know I'll be sad. 
and I won't necessarily be enjoying the life that I want to enjoy going on in the future. So uh, it's important for me to be able to uh, get back to being on that full treadmill going again, uh, enjoying what I do because I do and I love it to bits and I intend to continue plugging away at it. It's been 13 years on this YouTube channel <laughs> and we're, we're still not cracking 100 views a video. <laughs> But I don't care because I just love doing it. Um, and it's why I'm quite happy to try out all of the niche stuff because it's about putting out the stuff that I love and that I'm interested in because I don't see that void being filled for me. It just turns out not many other people are looking to have that void filled or know that the void is out there to be filled to begin with. Which is probably another discussion for another day. Um, so yeah, I hope that's okay. Um, just please bear with. However... I have also been working on a few other little things that are coming up uh, that I just wanted to uh, make you aware of. Firstly, um, I'm going to turn to my... I've got a little whiteboard over there. This is how sad I am. I've got a little whiteboard full of all the projects that I'm involved in, like grid ticks and like wiping out. So um, I've scripted and recorded uh, all the rest of season one of High Potion Mental Health in Gaming, which was a series I started at the beginning of the year and had to park because I was ill. So I've now been able to script them and film them. They're going to be coming out weekly. Uh, there's, I think, seven more episodes left to be aired uh, and they will come out in seven consecutive Mondays, uh, just so that you're aware of that, starting not this Monday, following Monday. Um, I'm also going to be putting out a separate video for announcement, but you heard it here first. I'm going to be doing a Circuit Superstars da, 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 One Night League event. It's going to be an esports event. It's I'm looking basically for 11 people to come and join me for a hilarious little mini championship. Um, probably like 25 laps, 100% on all of the damage and everything else and fuel. Uh, and we'll pick out five tracks and we'll go nuts. Uh, with the 80s GP car, probably, or the um, the hatchback ones. I'm not sure which one yet, but I'll make a specific video for that. Uh, and if you are interested, drop a comment down below or pop over to my Discord channel um, where I'll be putting down the announcements because um, with Circuit Superstars, you need to know the room code to get into the lobby to then play. So that's probably where I'll post those on the night itself. Uh, I'm looking at running that one night early in October. So probably on a weekday, Thursdays normally seem to be quite good for people in general. So I might plop that in there. But yeah, look out. Separate video for that one. Um, I've also got, do you remember last year? I, I, I bet none of you knew that this was coming because it got about 15 views. Um, I did a little teaser trailer for a game that I was working on and it was going to be an FMV game. Well, I've not been able to do the FMV side of stuff because I've been ill. But I have been working on building it into a choose your own adventure text based game so that I could, I was mapping it out in a way from a game dev perspective so that I could then film every single scene and make sure that I'd captured everything. But actually, it works fully as a text based adventure where you can go in and choose your own stuff. So I'm going to kind of package that out and release that before the end of the year as well. So you've got that to look forward to. Um, and there is one other thing that I will leave a little kind of hmm for. It's to do with Parappa, but I've gone a bit rogue. And um, I'll leave that there because it's one of the things that I'm most excited about. And one of the things that I hope will gain some momentum and traction behind it. Because, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased and excited with what I've done with it. Um, We'll see how it lands. <laughs> so yeah, that's it from me. Uh, I hope you're all well. Apologies, that was long and rambly. Uh, you guys will take care and I look forward to seeing you too. Thank you so much for sticking by me through this obscure and weird and random and all over the place channel. I appreciate not everything is for everyone. Um, but we want to champion those games that we never see or hear of. <laughs>